hello guys welcome to this definitely box uh, in this part uh, we'll be going through accelerometer mma 7361l and uh, we will also be talking about uh, small board design for this accelerometer uh, i mean uh, purpose uh, behind designing the board is that we can see the tilt of that uh, board easily and also rest of the electronics can be easily isolated from this part and uh, if anybody uh, doesn't know about accelerometer i will strongly encourage them to have a look at uh, part one of this series and be familiar with the uh, accelerometers next uh, so let's get started and uh, uh, let's talk about uh, some of the specifications of this uh, accelerometer so this MMA uh, 7361L is uh, 1.5G uh, and uh, 6G 3-axis uh, micromesh and accelerometer 3-axis I mean XYZ all 3-axis some accelerometers does have 2-axis X and Y uh, this one has uh, oh yeah and uh, I mean it's a capacitive accelerometer <coughs> Yeah. It has a low current consumption now uh, about uh, 400 microamperes in active mode and uh, uh, 3 microamperes in uh, slip mode. Uh, this one uh, has a operating voltage range of 2.2 to 3.6 volt. Uh, it has also got a high, I mean, it's a good sensitivity of 800 millivolt per G. Uh, there are uh, there's a pin which uh, helps us in selecting the sensitivity of this accelerometer, mm, particularly 1.5G and 6G. Then it has got uh, self test and 0G detect facilities also available. Uh, we'll talk about them in the next slide. Uh, output impedance is uh, 32 kilo, and uh, I've talked about the importance of this uh, 30 kilo of output impedance in the first part. Uh, here I'll make a short note on that as I mean it's an analog uh, accelerometer it will give an analog output so we need an A to D converter for that and uh, the A to D converters have a sample and hole circuit which are optimized for some output impedance for them so if uh, I mean the thing which is getting connected has a impedance of mm, 10 km is an optimum I mean for 8 mega microcontrollers they optimized it for 10 kilo but this one has got uh, 32 kilo so uh, one solution to this thing is uh, we can connect a buffer at the output of this accelerometer mm, uh, that will be for a very precise application but in our application uh, this is i mean if we directly connect it's uh, fine enough this will just reduce the uh, sampling i mean it will increase the sampling time of the circuit but in our case it's uh, not that much important so we'll go through this uh, i mean we'll have we will not connect uh, buffers we'll directly connect these things i will also uh, mention some of the application of this uh, accelerometers uh, they are uh, used in uh, uh, 3d gaming for measuring tilt and i mean for sensing tilt and motion uh, they are also used in PC and hard disk for free fall detection like whenever uh, PC or hard disk uh, is falling uh, it will uh, jam the rotating part of it so that when it hits the ground uh, that uh, I mean it's a steel and it's, I mean, it, it helps in locking it locks the system so it doesn't get uh, damaged much they are also used in cell phone for e image stabilization and uh, motion detecting they are also used as e-compass then in pedo pedometers that are used in uh, motion sensing pedometers are I mean which can count the number of steps and all then nowadays are used in smart watches and smart bands they also have these things and uh, they are also used in uh, robotics a robotic application also so now let's have a look at our this uh, mm, pin pin pins of this uh, accelerometer let's have a look at this uh, so this one has got time the board which we uh, the model which we'll be using has got uh, uh, 10 pins uh, 
uh, VDD uh, which we can give from 2.2 to 3.6 and we will be connecting here a 3.3 .3 volt uh, voltage regulator then it has got ground and this uh, XYZ analog outputs uh, this uh, and uh, it has got a self test pin this is uh, used to check the integrity of uh, mechanical and uh, electrical part of the system then we have a G select pin uh, G select pin when it is connected to zero uh, it uh, I mean it's connected to ground it has the sensitivity of 1.5 G when it is connected to 3.3 volt it has sensitivity of 6 G so this helps in selecting the sensitivity of the accelerometer then there is this slip pin which is an active low when connected to low this device will, like, uh, will be in sleep mode and this is uh, very much needed for battery operate operated devices uh, as in sleep mode it consumes just 3 microamperes and in active mode it consumes 400 microamps then we have this 0G detect pin uh, it, this pin provides a logic high signal uh, when all the axes are at 0G so this feature enables us the application of uh, linear free fall protection like in uh, hard disk and uh, laptop uh, free fall or I mean whenever they are falling so this can help, uh, help us in protecting the devices from damage so this uh, I mean these are the pins of this MMA uh, 7361L so now that we have gone through the pin configuration of the 7361L let's uh, talk about the small board which we were talking about making of that small board so board will be designed something like this it will have a 3.3 volt voltage regulator uh, load proper regulator this uh, VIN will be will be giving 5 volt which is I mean generally available so we will be using 5 volt then this terribly ground and I will give 3.3 volt which will be connecting to VCC and this slip pin I mean you can also keep a jumper or some switch which can or you can connect this to a microcontroller so where uh, depending on your application you can make it in sleep mode or I mean in active mode but uh, here we are just using for the demo so we'll be connecting it to high so that this uh, module is in active mode then we'll keep this self test and 0g is open we'll be not using them then G select will be connected to ground so we'll have G sensitivity of 1.5G then we'll connect ground to this ground part and uh, we'll be connecting this XYZ uh, terminals to a screw mm, joint uh, which will be which will be connecting to our uh, rest of the electronics and this V in and ground also will be connecting uh, to a screw uh, connector PCB connector and we will be sub giving the input to them so th yeah this is our schematic for our board and uh, after making this uh, this is how it will be looking like okay so yeah I forgot to mention like uh, here we can I mean generally for uh, regulators they suggest us to connect the capacitors between uh, these uh, two lines so here uh, we will be connecting the capacitor and here also we can uh, the values are around 100 micro to uh, range from I mean 100 uh, micro farad to 3.3 micro farad I mean they suggest in data set you can have a look at that and <coughs> connect them appropriately so these two capacitors are those capacitors which are we which are connected between the input and ground line and output and ground line this is our low dropout regulator 3.3 volt then this is the screw joint which I, be, I was talking about for input and uh, this one is the ground this is our 7361L uh, module uh, these are these three cables are for XYZ uh, axis uh, values and this uh, three wires are I mean they will be going to rest of the our electronics to our microcontroller for capturing the values and this is that three joint screw terminal which I was talking about so this is our whole uh, I mean mm, board for this uh, 7361L so with this uh, we come to end of the second part of this uh, series uh,
so we have looked at uh, pins of the micro uh, pins of this accelerometer and uh, we have designed a small uh, module or board you can say for this uh, accelerometer so that we can easily see that tilt uh, so thanks for watching and uh, uh, next and final part uh, in next and final part we will be looking at uh, the whole thing that is accelerometer with uh, microcontroller and an LCD uh, and we'll have one LCD to uh, display the values of the reading that we get from next meter uh, so yeah at last thank you and uh, have a nice day if uh, you have any uh, doubts or uh, anything to say you can mention in the comment section again thank you